Now, when you're trying to figure out what type of chart you should use, you need to keep in mind that there are different types of scales. Now, the first type of scale is known as linear, and this is the most common chart form. And what this means is that the price axis and the time axis are on equal plots. The second type of chart that you want to use in the crypto markets is known as the semi-logarithmic. And what this does is it's going to show you a percent price change that's the same all the way up on the y-axis, and I'll demonstrate that in a second. The rule of thumb that I use for crypto markets is if there's a price that moves over 100%, I want to use a semi-log chart to identify that price. And let's take a couple look at a few charts to see how this works in practice. Right here, you're looking at a Bitcoin chart. This is Bitcoin on the Bitfinex. And you'll notice this is not a candlestick chart right now. This is actually an area chart. So the area chart is basically a line chart with a shaded area below it. And this is a good way of illustrating a longer term chart trend. It starts in 2015, and you can see this is about three years worth of data. And most notab noticeably on this chart is that the y-axis moves up in a linear fashion. Okay, so from zero to 2,000 to 4,000, all these numbers jump in the same arithmetic formula. Now, you'll also notice that in 2017, prices look like they skyrocketed in Bitcoin. I mean, the market started rallying throughout first half of 2017, and then they really took off. And that's true, prices did jump. But if you think about things on more of a semi-log area, this rally is no different than ones we've had in the past. In fact, not much different than ones we've had in the last few years. So a semi-log chart on the y-axis gives us a percent change in prices. So if you start here at 210, and move up to, let's say, 420, which would double it, it's equivalent from moving from 2100 to 4200 on the same graph. You can see the distances are roughly the same amount. And this will show us that Bitcoin, even though the move has looked parabolic on an arithmetic chart, it's not much different than the trend has been since all the way in 2015. So it doesn't look as dramatic on a semi-log scale as it does with an arithmetic chart. And it's important to look at these semi-log charts because they'll notify you and show you that these trends tend to be the same over time. Even though something might look parabolic, it's happened in the past and probably will happen in the future.